We got off to a pretty slow start after the massive day we just had shooting Dogtooth Tuna. Travelling close to the beautiful islands of Hapai, we arrived at our first drop-off. It didn't take us very long to find some photogenic blue spot coral trout. This was actually my first blue spot coral trout. Get a dinner. Nice. Good eating size. With no dog tooth tuna around, Ian also got distracted by the coral trout. Hilton made the call to move to a shallow gutter in a reef edge which he knew about. The current flogged through this area, but it was teeming with demersal species. I didn't even have to do a five metre dive to get close to this moo that was scurrying along the bottom. The sides were riddled with caves that were infested by black and white sea perch. Great eating and loads of fun to hunt. I spotted a shoal of black and whites out in the open, so I dropped down up current of them and crawled along the bottom towards the fish. Sometimes they just won't turn for a shot. Tim was breathing up after seeing a big shoal of moo. It was amazing to watch the game of cat and mouse from the surface. Eventually, one of the moo made its final mistake. A swift restab and the fish was secured.
Moving on for the afternoon, we hope to find some dogtooth tuna on a colossal drop off. We made it rain burly, we were working the flasher, but the only dog tooth we saw really wanted to keep his distance. I think Tim shot this little dog tooth had a pure boredom. How funny was that? I was looking, were you making noise? Yeah. I'm like, who's making noise? I turned around, oh, doggy right behind me. Yeah. Along the drift, I spotted a small little Maori wrasse and made a dive. It was too wise for me, but pointed out a very nice looking bomby. Having a scrounge around the bommie, I saw a shoal of moo in the distance. I immediately got cover and tried to get them in for a shot. Rarely an easy adversary. These moo are always welcome on the dinner table. I had time for one last dive before we had to head home. The shoal of moon moved right to the edge of the drop off and they were becoming increasingly more cunning. Despite my best efforts, my attention was stolen when I saw a coronation trout sitting high off the bottom. A long shot with my 120 and I pinned him just under the dorsal fin. Many doggies today, but uh, a few nice reef fish. Good fun. Yeah, man. Nice moo. This one's the biggest. Nice coro and a black and white. So 
so pretty happy with that. We actually got home with enough light to properly check out our house. I soon figured out why I hadn't seen any clams on the reef. Another beautiful meal spent telling the stories of the day. It doesn't get much better than this. Well, it's been my way to your hand at all, funny enough. You'd think it would last much to your hand.